More than a dozen small fires burning in Bear Creek Lake Park. Each one with a different cause and origin. But there is one thing they all have in common. The fires were set deliberately. Yep, so we got our angle of char and a protected, and a protected zone. zone. Now it's up to these investigators in training to find the evidence and solve the case. Okay, so we had a little pocket of here, just dry grass. That's why it's a little bit higher versus somewhere over here. Makes okay. sense, makes sense. We have 21 students and what we're teaching them is how to investigate a wildfire and try to determine the origin and cause because it is significantly um, different than investigating a structure fire. This week-long class is the foundation to becoming a wildland fire investigator, a scarce resource across the West. More than 5,000 wildfires ignite in Colorado each year, and like these fires here, the majority are human-caused. But often the details of how the fire started and why are unknown. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. See how it's pretty consistent? One reason is the lack of certified investigators. And there's also the sheer scale of the potential crime scene. You can look around and see how much open space we have to deal with. I've investigated fires along roadsides, dirt roads, things like that, where the possibility for an ignition point stretches a quarter mile, a half mile, even a mile, maybe longer. There's a little bit of curve on some of these. This is exacting work, looking at the smallest details inside a burned and blackened perimeter, trying to determine how the fire moved and from where. If you can imagine looking at a blade of grass, one side getting really warm and kind of brown, the other side remaining a little bit green. See how it's green here and not so much here. You can kind of get an idea that the side that's brown is the direction the fire came from. The side that's green is the direction it was going. That is interesting. That's what that is. For the students, the key to discovering the cause and origin of the fire is learning to look beyond the obvious, finding what doesn't belong. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to separate the weeds and the, and the leaves and everything else that's in there that should normally be in there and look for something like a match or a match head or a cigarette or a cigarette butt, something that should not be in the middle of this burned area. Matches. matches. Those are matches. Oh, wow. Fire investigation, whether it's a wildfire or a structure fire, involves a complex process. While any fire can be caused by a variety of factors, it's vitally important for investigators to have the knowledge, skills, and abilities to accurately determine the cause and origin. They've put a lot of uh, effort into how they're looking at their fires. They're getting it down to the nitty gritty to where they're actually finding what it is we're putting out there. So the class is doing really well. Let's put a green one right here. 